Hey, hey. Okay. So today is seat time. Seating. Um, I, I have calculated the rough dimensions of the seats. So now I'm going to make a mock-up of, of the seat just to see if the dimensions are correct for the car. And uh, then uh, we're gonna insert it into the car and see if everything is right. Then we can start doing the mechanisms in the seat. I think the three, three basic functions that we need uh, in the seat should be pretty easy to do. Relatively easy, let's say. So reclining seat, uh, you can so we can adjust it uh, back and forth, and uh, memory function to flip it uh, to the front. So, of course, I have thought about this. I'm not, I'm not entirely unprepared. So, um, first I just want to have a, a rough dimension of the seat, nothing more, very rough. So the seat needs to be according to the calculations that I made. I took, I don't know, I googled uh, a standard seat dimension and it's like, I don't know, 8 to 8.5 studs uh, is the length of the backrest. I can't see anything, let me bring it closer. So the backrest is about 8 to 8.5 studs. Um, the, the seating area, so the, the, the seat itself should be like uh, 6.5 studs. Uh, wide and 6.5 studs long, so ish, in somewhere in the ballpark. I don't know where we, we're going to end up, but you know. So, uh, uh, just gonna use these to quickly mock it up So just, you know, a basic dimension. Uh, I just want to see uh, if this is seats. Today's mission is seats. Um, now I want to see if the dimension is semi-correct.
Yeah. This could work. Mm, okay, let me show you. Let me show you. So, our neat little sit, seat. It needs to be, I think, the seating area needs to be one stud longer and a little bit wider. Uh, the reclining, so the, the backrest is okay because um, mm, come on, backrest is okay because if you look at pictures of the charger uh, online, the backrest actually. Uh, is flush with the with the shoulder or something like that so it needs to be slightly longer for the legs so once that we we are going to make it one stud longer for the legs um, it's of course has to be like this so at an angle um, but the rest is kinda kinda right It'll be a little bit thicker, of course, because of the mechanisms, but that's all right as well. That's not a problem. Uh, the, the, the front and back stuff is going to be under the seat. Um, the reclining stuff, yeah. Yeah. Ish. That's about it. Uh, I'm just gonna now... Uh, ah, come on. I'm just gonna go on the internet now and find us a model of the charger seat. So that we can replicate it. Ach, not this picture. Yeah, something like that. So seating, sitting, seating, seating uh, area a little longer. This may be a little shorter, so they are equal length or something. And then, yeah, it's gonna be thick, at least two studs thick, and this as well. Yeah. Let's go to work. So our prototype is going to be this. And now first I would like to design some mechanisms. For this. No, I didn't know uh, about the chart. I had no idea. Uh, okay. Just 
Is that too much? Too much of a um, of, of a uh, movement uh, for the reclining seat. I mean, for the back and forth movement, maybe. Yeah. Mm, maybe. start somewhere uh, so this is gonna be our rail on one side on the, on the other side we're gonna have uh, an axle where the seat is going to slide on um, so uh, first of all seats the mission for today are seats Uh, this is going to be one stud off the floor. There we go. Ish, of course, because uh, these points we'll see where they uh, connect on the floor of the car i don't know yet but there will be I don't know, some some somehow like this you know okay this this is the floor of the car now the seat one part of the rail goes under the seat to hold it in and then we have This and an axle, and these are then the seat rails. Mm. It's all gonna change, but you know. So um usually you have like a catch or something so we, we are gonna have a gear that's uh, gonna be fixed on uh, a lift arm like this so it cannot move and then it's gonna be pressed down by a spring so it's not gonna be able to to move back and forth but it's one lift arm is not gonna be enough because if we use just one um, one uh, gear and, and, and one uh, lift arm then the gear is gonna be able to skip you know the skid we don't want that so we need two two gears basically I'm gonna use these of course uh, one is gonna be fixed like this the other is gonna be like this and then we need to make some sort of uh, pivot here it's gonna be on the seat itself um, let's see how we can do that something very simple uh, however uh, the way I see this now if I if we have the pivot that 
that lifts them up from the gear rack, uh, what happens is that we have to pull this down. In a real seat, you pull it up, not down. So we need to have uh, another lever here that would basically, you know, reverse uh, the, the situation. Um, thing is, uh, we want the profile of this to be as low as possible. This, you know, you see, when these two lift, the seating area is going to be just above them. So, this is already uh, the seating area. So they need to be, we don't have a lot, a lot of room here. Otherwise, this is going to be grossly out of scale. So, these are going to just lift up enough that they can slide back and forth. This is going to be very uh, something very compact. You know, we have like this is part of the seat. Ready? And then we have something underneath uh, underneath here, um, let's say we use what's what? What are we gonna use? Um, we want something that's relatively stiff. Now we have at least something. So this is already our seat. See? It slides back and forth. And our seat base itself is immediately above it. So there's no not much there's not much room for anything here. Really. We need to make this as simple as humanly possible. Otherwise, the seat itself is going to be too high. And most of the, the part, the stuff that uh, reclines the seat is going to be built into the rear of the seat. Because there's no room here, I think. So, ideally... I would come up with something right now. Let's say... works 
So if if we press this down with even the slightest force, shouldn't be able to move. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, what's the alternative? Because I, I I mean I know how this this works in in the real car. Um, in the real car, this can skip can skip because it has vertical notches. Could we replicate the vertical notches? So basically, in, in the real car, uh, in the real car, the rail has like notches like this, and then you have like a tooth, you know, that clicks in between them, and then I mean I have too much play right now here, but a tooth that go, it goes in between them and no matter what you do it cannot cannot lift because there's like in in the lock it's no it's not possible because of the shape um but here it is possible because these are sloped everything here there the gears and the gears are sloped so what should we do here? Um, what should we do here so that it will be as simple as possible? So one, two, wait a minute. This and this. Hold on, hold on. Yes, it, it's dawning on me. It is dawning on me. Okay, what if we do it like this? Seems like I don't have enough black. Um, I don't have enough black connectors like this. I need to order more. Okay, that's fine. So, what if we do? Something very similar. Uh, maybe it's going to take up even less space. Um, I'm going to make the same setup as last time. So we would have one leg, it would be like this. Um, in, in my head it looked easier. I basically wanted to do something like this, you know. Uh, but this isn't going to work. Uh, how could I do this? I have 
no. Something like this. If I put an axle through here, this isn't going to work. This needs to be uh, sli a slidable surface. And I would like to have all these notches here till the end. That would be ideal. So one here, one here, or even a finer scale. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing I could do, and the only thing that we are going to do, this. So, another tenor, and we are going to use our friends here. And start building. So we have, I don't know, in the beginning we probably don't need it because the, the mechanism is going, isn't going to reach. And then we can have one. I'm just gonna make them till the end and we'll see where, we get, where we're at. Two, three. Okay. There we go. There we go. See? Now we're talking. So, here our mechanism isn't going to be isn't be going to be able to skip. However, as always, mistakes are made while we're talking. This needs to be made like that. So, because obviously, we are going to have Come on, I know you're here See, that's why I like uh, to put everything back together after I'm done, because I don't have to look for parts. This way I'm just going to have to look for parts. Anyway. You know, I, what I want to do now is something like this. I need the axle. Ah, okay. I need it here. So I can have something like this here and then, okay. Ah, so if this is at the bottom. Let's first see what mechanism we need. Uh, we need to engage in these first. So, well, obviously we need something like this. It would drop in here and then we lift it up. 
it cannot go back and forth but you lift it up and then it can go back and forth and then it drops back in so it has I don't know, one two three four positions yeah that's enough for me we don't need more at least not in, in a toy car so this guy needs to lift up how do we lift it up um, basically we would have in the front of the seat we would have something like this so the standard handle under the seat so you lift it up and this guy uh, also lifts up so we have to have another axle here another axle going through here uh, and then another axle here so basically three axles um, only this one is connected to this one let's say I'm gonna have something like this um, I just hope it, it's gonna lift it enough Oh, this is di more difficult than I than I anticipated. Much more difficult. Um, okay. So basically, we have this mechanism here. So when when I pull this up. This should lift it up, yeah, but obviously uh, there's not going to be enough room to lift it up by one whole stud. Mm. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll just explain what I wanted to do, just so you can follow my reasoning. Basically, I would have these two pivot points and this would happen. So I pull this up and this goes up. So when I pull this up, this guy lifts this guy out of the seat and then we can move and then it puts it down but obviously we don't have we don't have this option or do we or do we let's let think let's think for a minute do we need this to be inserted a complete stud. We don't. We don't. Okay, that's the magic. Okay. Okay. This can still be done. This can still be done. Just a second. Okay. Come on. Okay. This is our Pivoting action, but now our secret ingredient doesn't have to be a whole stud, I think. So if we apply this to our seat and we put in this guy. 
this guy would see, sit in here. See? And it cannot move back and forth. But when we lift this, it should lift both of them up. Both of them up. And the same, and then you slide, and then the spring, you let it go, the spring puts it back in. Okay. But this is just an idea. How do we actually, how do we actually execute this? Um, we should get rid of this. So this would be okay. This can be done, I think. Have just this. And then we would have this guy. Because that's enough. smaller now. There we go. Okay. Very good. Now we need to construct the two pivots. So one pivot needs to be here and one here. So we need to start here because this is going outwards. It's going to be a rail here and here we can have a pivot done like this, like this and then he, no not him, but he is able to then slide on the rail. So this would be the pivot. And this slides on the rail. Um, if anything I'm doing right now is confusing, please um, let me know. Uh, I am uh, probably just as confused as you are. Okay, so this is not the right one for this application. Um, oh, okay. So this is also all going to be op more optimized. It's just. Um, Figuring out the basics. So we would have the rail here. Then this is our first pivot. I'm just gonna make it like this. Doesn't matter. So the first pivot is here. Second pivot needs to be here. Um, like that, yeah, like that. And we can have a 
press that X this to make it a little more stable. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Okay. Now let's tie this up. So we have part of the rail. No matter what happens, unless I pull the lever, these are not going to move. But when I pull the lever, they're moving. When I let it go, there we go. That's how it works in a real car. Perfect. Now the spring needs to pull it down. Like this. So it needs to act where we can basically, doesn't need to be a, a lot, we can mount it here. I think. I think we can mount it here. And then it pulls everything. I guess. Ah, of course. of course. Things are not as rosy as I thought. Of course, we need to re engineer a little bit, things a little bit, because see it it must not overlap over the studs otherwise you cannot go underneath yeah okay no problem we we just offset everything a little bit we have the width so um how do we do that pivot is here we can extend that to the other side, of course. And then we have just a lever here. Yeah. Let's not complicate things too much. So this guy would sit in here. good enough cannot, it, he cannot move anywhere and uh, yeah, we can have a little uh, even, an even simpler lever because of that so uh, we need a lever here here so it can be Basically like this, like this, and Easy peasy.
we can do it. But now, yeah, just enough. And then we, then we, we're in. Hmm. I'll reserve my judgment until we do the other side as well. So the other rail, so it cannot move up and down. So let's do it. The rail can be on ground level. This. something for this as well so it just doesn't doesn't fall out as easily it's probably the best to do the same as on the other side there we go now this okay Here we are with the other side. Now let's make the platform. Mm -hmm. So this is the floor of our car. This will be the floor of our car. I guess this isn't working the way I intended, or is it? No, it can easily overpower it, so this isn't really working, at least not this kind of stuff. Um, Yeah, so you see, it's it's such a small thing, and it's not easy. It needs to slide. Hmm. Well, whoever uh, whoever suggested we try uh, the gear drag stuff. Um, we are going to try it. So 
basically what we could do is uh, press this on it so instead of having this this as the base many ways to mount this, this stuff okay that would be our rail and then we make a mechanism that drops this guy on it so we don't need to lift as much um but how do we lift it? I guess we could lift it in a similar fashion to this. We could do it in a similar fashion. Basically we have this guy here. And we attach Attach a brick to this. Attach a brick to this, and then the rest is similar to what we had before. So let's try it. This should be should be doable. Yeah, and it it's not gonna take up as much space. So you lurkers here. I know this is boring, but someone has to do it. We want as many mechanisms in the car as possible. So this is one of them. And if we want it in the car, we have to make it. So this is the rail. Something on it.
this to be this one needs to be something else like this for example. Not doing it on the other side. So, like this. Mm -hmm. And of course, it needs to be something. Low tier, so this that this is, yeah, like that. So all of this moves really great. So now on the other side. Just a second, someone is okay. Okay, now we need a pivot here, and then we're good. Uh, how do we get a pivot here? Uh -huh. we do. Hey, method! I see you're bored sending me pictures like this. Hmm? Ah. No, he didn't send me any uh, X rated material, but you know. Before anyone asks, come on, get it in. Uh. Oh, my God. Okay. We can have, yeah, let's have it like this. Oh, you're still on vacation. I thought you're back now.
Okay. Isn't working yet. Okay, so where did we go wrong? Yeah. Uh, there we, we went wrong. So this one needs to be one step higher. Of course it needs to be. No problem. We can move it. Let's see what happens. This is certainly not going to work like this. Okay. Just in case you're wondering, we are building seats. And uh, engineering, uh, engineering seats is not as easy as it looks. Ah, okay, it can be here. Okay. Of course, because this this guy doesn't move anywhere. I'm gaining a new respect for seat designers. Wait, what? Why is this all twisted? What? What did I do wrong? I don't understand entirely because this is straight. This can move. Huh. Okay. So this cannot be here and after all. Not like that. say it he has to be here here this should lift should um, come on where want to see if this works doesn't have to be really sturdy so let's do it on a quick 
a quick job. Entirely impossible that this is gonna work. I would like this to be lower. This guy can be high because it kind of has to be, but this needs to be lower. Oh, so much rebuilding. This is just how it is. Hey, I'm doing this so you don't have to. It's not really weird, but I just need to figure out why this is not working the way I want it to work. Let's see. Okay, so if this is in like that, this is obviously way too high. What if we use this? And then it's gonna be lifted up. Yeah. Maybe we should use this. So, slight change of plan. I mean, not exactly plan, but the lever is gonna be slightly different. So, it's gonna be lower. It's gonna, this is gonna happen. Okay. Now, where do we pivot it? Same as before, I guess. And this guy must be here. We'll see where we're going to do this. So, obviously, uh, we can with this setup like this, like here, we cannot use the whole length of the rail for the uh, adjustment but that's not really that's not really uh, important right now okay this is just a proof of concept i just want to see if this works the way we intend to then we move on from this 
Okay. Now we need another one. Starts down. Okay, so very simple. We're gonna use this, this guy, and it needs to be three studs down. So, so we have like what we can use. So here, and then we have something like this. And this is now what five studs as well. Okay, fine with me. Uh, today's stream is about making seeds. And for everybody's amusement, I am struggling. Okay. Only I have made this correctly, but of course I didn't. Okay, there's this pivot. Not like this. I guess. What about now? What about now? isn't good either even if we're if we are here somewhere you can easily detach no matter what you do okay then let's do another approach there is another way there is another way to do this Is another way maybe the better way maybe this the way we did it right now is just crap so one of the ways is that you lift it up that you lift it up like that like like we did right now so we lifted it up here and then it, it went yeah but this isn't stable. One of the, the other ways, what if we just lift it up from the side? That would be an even better way. And I think, um, I think BMW has it like this. So it's very close to home.
And th this approach is, I think, going to take up even less space, which is great. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way we need to approach it. So again, half a stud, I guess. Half a stud is our thing here. Um, if it was one whole stud, it would be too much, asking too much. how to actually do this so we have half a, a half a stud offset and we need to mount this and we do need the half a stud difference for it to lift so we definitely want to mount it here Why is this always so difficult? Every single time. Half a stud of difference. That damn half stud. Maybe this could work. Let's see. I wonder, I really wonder if this is gonna be successful. So, if we lift this up. I'm just 
gonna use a, a, a long axle just so we don't have any problems I know it's a little hard to follow, but because my train of thought is, is actually pretty quick right now. Yes, that's, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Uh, we do need this to be this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Saw so you. Where are you? Come on. Ah, again. Take a new one. Imagine how super boring uh, my search for. Uh, my search for the uh, trunk lock mechanism was the trunk lock mechanism is super nice and everything but uh, it was not very uh, entertaining to l be looking for it or to, to try to create it I just need to stabilize this. Just give me a second. I 
I'm pretty sure you so at one point in time you owned a car that had a, a similar mechanism of uh, securing this. bother with the half stud offset right now. I'm just gonna deal with it because I want to see how this works. And if if this works the way I want it to work. Imagine now uh, Imagine that this is how the seat When I try to move it back and forth This isn't gonna move back and forth as, as soon as spring force is applied to this it's not gonna move back and forth, no matter what I do. You see, you can, I can basically move the whole seat and I'm really just touching it, not really pressing hard. And then, then I just turn this and I can easily move the seat and then put it down, see? Locked again. Easy peasy. Now, of course, everything needs to be worked out to to be a little more stable and everything, but that's basically the way we are gonna have our mechanism. I think it's great. So now that this is done, uh, let's move to the backrest of the seat. So what we want, remember, we solve now the back and forth. That's no no problemo. Uh, now we need the seat to be reclinable like this. And then when we pull a lever here, we can fold it so people have access, passenger have, passengers have access to the back seat. So, uh, both functions are going to gonna be one single mechanism. Uh, let me explain how I think we should do it. So... Let's say, um, let's say that this is our backrest, okay? So I, I can adjust it any way I want. But how do I then flip it to the front so that it, it when I flip it back, it always snaps in, in the same spot that I had it. Very simple. I'm not gonna, going to exaggerate stuff, of course, just to show you. Very simple. 
we have a simple mechanism. So again, imagine this is our reclining seat. Um, I need to reinforce this just a little bit. Let's see. Maybe it's something else. I don't want I don't want this, but okay. This is our reclining seat. And this is held down by a spring. So then I pull this up and I can flip the seat forward. And then when I flip the seat back, it's gonna snap in exactly where where we set it up before. So now we can Recline it completely, we pull this up, pull it to the front, and it's, it's gonna snap in exactly where we left it, even far forward, very simple. We just need to make this, the, this, the area here a little better, I guess, or even... Uh, we make it, yeah, double wide won't work. Mm, just something that it sits in here a little firmer. Well, some mechanism like this is going to, going to happen. And the reclining action is going to be done with uh, a war gear, of course. Um, war gear. Now, ideally, I would have um, both mechanisms on a single axis. If this, if it, if it's possible, because I've seen it done in cars. Many old golfs and stuff have, you know, a wheel that you turn on the seat axis, so that you slowly recline it or lower it, and then. On the same seat axis, you just pull a lever here, which does exactly what, what, what you see here, and you can flip the seat forward, and then it just snaps back in. That would be my idea. Now, how do we do that? That's the other question. Um, the answer at this very moment, I don't know. Um, but we need to check how to do that. If we turn this on the axis, is it possible for this to, to somehow turn the seat? Or for this, the seat needs, I mean, we have to have some pivots and then, hmm. What happens? I guess something needs to be in the seat base as well for this to be to happen, or, or some lever need, needs to be there. Some lever needs to be present. As the second option is to have um, a lever present in the seat base. So if we have a lever here that you lift up, and then this can tilt back and forth by, I don't know, 
it's fixing it with something or I don't know and then you have on the on the seat back seat back you have just this just this mechanism these are two possibilities I wonder what other option we have here. There is one. There is one other option. What if we don't do this? We do it like this. Then. better than expected. Now we have this guy here. And I need this. And then I need this. go there we go now I lift it up I let it slide and slides in here I can have probably these guys on top to make make it easier here no Okay, so this is where we're gonna have a snag. Damn, this would be so easy. It's so sturdy. This would work. However, this gap here is giving me trouble. If it weren't for this gap, then this would. Slide in. Okay, what can we do to remove this gap? Is there perhaps away no this isn't gonna work damn this is not gonna work the way I imagined yet of course it has to it has to work somehow so we need to 
solve this issue. So basically, we have to have something here that allows this to pass into it. Something on the circumfer cir circumference of this. Um, isn't gonna work that what about this oh, you know because the rest doesn't have to be circular it just has to make this possible Bugatti butt pin. What? What do you mean Bugatti butt pin? You mean for the reclining, um, for the reclining seat, or or for this? Okay. Just got an idea. Let me see if this idea has any merit. that and uh, yeah um, I don't know see I have not researched this enough um, I mean in the real car this is solved exactly like this but in the real car it, it's easy to do because you can mold everything and have a continuous uh, surface here and then a hole uh, and this of course is conical and then it simply slides into the hole so in the real car, it's easy. It's Lego that's difficult. Mm. Because we don't have the parts to do it. Um.
but I'm wondering if there's another way to do this. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So, four, one, eight, four, one, six, nine. Okay, but what? do we do with this? I'm not exactly sure what the ball joint would do. I have thought about it, but you know, um, the ball joint will not really solve much. This, on the other hand, might. That's why I'm exploring it. Because it would do exactly what uh, I anticipated it to do. Now we can jump. The ball joint would require more. So the, if I want to install the ball joint, I need to uh, have a three stud something here because I have to have a connector. So that would create, that would take up too much. Um, But I'm angry that I can't have this fixed in a reasonable way. Because like this, this is useless. Even if I... Well, maybe if I do this. Why is this not going in? This is three studs. Okay, this is three studs. Okay, and that, uh, okay, that that's why it doesn't go. Hmm. 
this is infuriating, infuriating sometimes. Um, in my mind, this this works perfectly, but obviously in 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 real life it doesn't. In real life, it does not work like this. Wait, maybe this does. Maybe this does. So if I return to what I had before. To our friend here. And then There's nothing to prevent it from turning. And this isn't one stud. Now what? Now what? Because you know this is not one stud wide. So nothing that's one stud wide goes in here. But this isn't one stud. It's less. Yet it still doesn't go in. I mean, it goes in, but it's it's useless. This is absolutely useless. And even if we do that, that's even more useless. Hmm. I'm wondering how much space, yeah, it would take too much space if I make a wheel myself. It doesn't have to be the pulley wheel, but that's, that would use too much space. Be two studs wide, and I wouldn't have a way for the center. There would there would be not be no center. You know, if if I made myself a wheel out of I don't know, three studs, three stud lift arms, this would be way too big. Way too big. Must be a way. There will be a way, but it's just not obvious to me right now. Okay, what if, what if we do this um, sideways, it would work sideways as well. It's 
So let's say we have this guy here. We fill all but one hole. Okay. Then we have the reclining seat like this. But we also have a little hole that then we have a spring pops it up you go to the front spring is constantly spring is constantly pushing against and then you just when you come to the hole it goes inside and then it holds it this would work and the whole mechanism could be vertical because we need to just have a lever that that pulls it out just a little bit and then uh, with a spring you you we have you know some lever like this like this you pull it up it pulls this 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 guy out but there's a spring of course involved and then this as soon as the as we get to the hole it clicks back in that would be very nice now let's see how we can do a lever like this um, So it would basically need to level like this. Uh, this would be how much do we need? We need to just get it out one by one stud. So we need just this, nothing more. Nothing more. Mm. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Like this. Okay. So we can have it would pull it out like this, right? But if we want to be cheeky and make it even smaller, because we honestly we don't we need just this, we can have it like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say. We put fulcrum here. Mm. For the sake of the argument, let's use this. We have our lever is gonna be. more sturdy. Just one. So we want it what? Oh come on. Okay.
Okay, that's good. No. I want to get in the back of the car. There. I I pull everything to the front. And then eh, spring force here needs to be stronger. But other than that. I think it's fine. Yeah, spring definitely needs to be sp stronger. And things here need to be a little bit smoother, which we can arrange. You know, so this guy can slide easily. Perhaps we need to apply the spring force downwards. What do you think? It's just not, until now we're just we're just playing. I just want to see what happens. And of course, when this is stronger, this is also going to be much better, etc., 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 you know, the classics. this a little bit stronger if I want to test it
Huh? See? It does go. That's it. Just a stronger, stronger spring force. And it will spring in immediately after the hole is done, is spawned. Now we need to optimize all of this. There we go. And it's strong, it cannot. This is the way to go. Just we need to make it smaller and uh, we need to make the lever so that uh, when this happens when you pull the lever here on the side of the seat up so you pull the lever up and then this happens I can even imagine a gear here not just levers but a gear uh, a gear and then this would be yeah exactly a gear this lever would be on a gear mm. I would preferably have a lever like this because it's it's natural like in a real car when you just pull the lever up and uh, put the seat forward mm. hmm what kind of lever would that be I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, getting late. I am tired. Um, we have made quite a, a few prog a little progress. I mean, this is probably the best mechanism to make the seat not move back and forth while being as simple as possible uh, just a, a, a um, rubber band needs to uh, press this up just a little bit not a lot uh, and uh, this is perfect um, and then we have already our um, memory seats the memory seat uh, and then uh, we just need to make the reclining mechanism and then package it all up so it's reasonably small and we're golden there we have our seats then we can move to to the gearbox and the engine the engine you know the engine can be uh, for all I care, it can be just this Hulk. We just dress it up with, I don't know, cylinder heads uh, that look a little bit more like cylinder heads, uh, air filter, manifold, you know, and stick it in. The gearbox, of course. And uh, then we are pretty much done with every big, all the big stuff. Then it just cosmetics unless everybody anybody wants uh, some more mechanisms in the car though I cannot think of of what else we, we could do that has that can work uh, we have everything opens we have locks for all for hatches so door doors uh, trunk uh, hood 
Uh, we have suspension, we have steering, hand of God steering, we are, we are going to have the, the seats. Um, what else? Uh, gearbox, engine, fake engine. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we, can, we are going to make it remote controlled. After all, it's done. Um, yeah. So, I think this alone made it a success today. I'm happy with this. And uh, this as well. This is going to be so great. Um, yeah. It, but you mean, I mean, uh, uh, technical stuff. Everything else is, uh, is going to be just cosmetics. Yeah. Anyway. I see you in the next stream, which is going to be on Monday. Uh, on Monday, and um, till Monday, I am going to try to figure this out. I'm going to uh, research mechanisms uh, online, how it's done in real cars. Um, what trays? What trays do you mean? I don't, I, 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 I don't know what what you mean by trace. No, it's fine. It finds the hole nicely. And the half a stat is just right. Rally, uh, what do you mean by trace? In the meantime, um, while Rally is forming an answer, um, till next time, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. You know the drill. Uh, check out my Patreon. Uh, Lego isn't cheap, you know. Uh, you can find me on social media I'm on uh, Telegram, uh, Instagram uh, Viber Facebook everywhere uh, Eurobricks as well uh, so if you have any ideas or topics of discussion contact me um, and I see you on Monday